With great power comes great responsibility. Taking control of your financial future by setting up a self-managed super fund can be an exciting evolution in your wealth creation and retirement journey. But it's also essential to acknowledge that you and your fellow trustees now bear the full weight of steering your nest egg towards its intended destination. In this video, we'll walk you through a step-by-step -step approach to crafting an SMSF investment strategy that uses ETFs. Additionally, we'll delve into crucial aspects such as risk profiling, insurance considerations, and other obligations mandated by superannuation laws. Stick around to the end of the video to learn about some ETFs that can be used in the accumulation and retirement phase. Think of your SMSF investment strategy as a plan for how you'll buy, keep, and sell assets to reach your financial goals. It should be written down and explain how all the choices are aligning to each member's retirement objectives. Having an investment strategy is a legal requirement under the superannuation industry supervision regulations. This means you need to create and follow an investment plan for your SMSF and review and update your strategy regularly as circumstances change. Your investment strategy should be a living document it should cover what you aim to achieve with your investments, how you plan to allocate your assets, managing your cash flow, and how often you'll review your goals. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you draft your document. Step one, start with the primary goal. It's essential for SMSF trustees to discuss and work out where they want to be financially in retirement and set their investment strategy accordingly. Keep in mind, the primary goal, investment objectives, and risk tolerance can evolve over the years as circumstances change and as members age. Trustees are strongly encouraged to seek professional advice to help navigate the complexities of retirement planning. Step two, consider the member's risk profile. Super laws require that you invest in the best financial interests of all SMSF members. Your strategy must explain how your investments meet each member's retirement objectives. Products like ETFs offer inherent diversification and relatively high liquidity, making them a viable option for SMSFs to distribute capital across different asset classes. While ETFs can enhance diversification and provide exposure to growth investments, it's crucial to acknowledge the volatility inherent in high-risk assets. For example, shares tend to experience negative returns roughly every five to seven years. Therefore, planning asset allocation between growth and defensive assets should be based on the age and the risk tolerance of each member. Step three, calculate cash flow and liquidity needs. An SMSF's investment strategy must consider cash flow and liquidity needs. This includes the ability to pay for obligations like taxes, audit fees, insurance premiums, and unexpected costs as they arise. SMSFs with younger members who have opted to invest in listed assets would typically have lower cash flow needs. Those holding property or initiating pension payments who are obligated to meet minimum drawdown rates would have higher cash flow needs. In cases where an SMSF holds illiquid assets, the strategy should detail the process and timeline for asset realization while also acknowledging the associated risks such as potential challenges in obtaining fair market value. Step four, create an asset allocation framework. Once members have worked out their tolerance for risk and liquidity needs, they can create a framework with asset allocation targets. This dictates the minimum and maximum amounts the SMSF can invest in any given asset class. SMSFs can choose to establish either static targets, which represent fixed amounts allocated to specific asset classes or asset allocation ranges for greater flexibility. Here's an example of asset allocation with flexible targets. Step five, establish an approved investments list. Retail and industry superannuation funds invest substantial time and resources in researching investment products. This is because the selection, integration, and liquidity of these products are fundamental to the performance of a super fund. Now, this task falls squarely on the trustees of your SMSF. Super laws don't require specifying precise products, but effective strategies can often include a broad list of approved investments to steer their investment decisions. Think of establishing this list and a process to identify products as adding guardrails to your SMSF. It prevents members from investing in unfamiliar territory and ensuring thorough due diligence before any new products or investments are introduced to the portfolio. Here's a practical example 
of what an SMSF's approved investment list could look like. Step six, consider insurance needs. The ability to generate income and contribute funds to an SMSF is instrumental. This is why super laws mandate that you consider holding personal insurance for each member of your SMSF so that they're covered in the event of death or incapacity. There may also be non-personal requirements and options such as liability insurance for trustees, a landlord policy if a rental property is being held in the fund, and cover for collectibles. Consider obtaining advice to ensure you have the appropriate insurance products and adequate coverage. Step seven, monitor, rebalance, and review. Bringing together a solid investment strategy involves maintaining discipline in three key areas. Trustees should agree on the frequency of the following activities. Monitoring. Determine how often to check your SMSF and its performance, including verifying contributions, cash reserves, managing expenses, and assessing investment opportunities. It's good practice to do this at least quarterly. Rebalancing. Adjust the portfolio to ensure it stays within the asset allocation framework established within the strategy. Typically done annually, more frequent adjustments may be needed in response to significant market shifts. Investment strategy review. Regularly evaluate the overall investment strategy to ensure alignment with the SMSF's objectives. This review must be conducted every financial year, but may be required more often. It's recommended to conduct the investment strategy review during the annual trustee meeting and document the discussion and outcomes in the meeting minutes. This ensures evidence of the review is available to your auditor. With a firm understanding of what an SMSF investment strategy entails, let's consider some ETF ideas that may be relevant for trustees in the accumulation and retirement phases of their journey. ETFs have gained significant traction among SMSF investors due to their facilitation of investment strategy execution. Notably, SMSFs have been pioneers in embracing ETFs in Australia with a record 505,000 funds currently using this investment vehicle. The accumulation phase is the time when investors are typically seeking to maximize retirement savings. For those with a higher risk tolerance, seeking greater returns, equity ETFs that hold stocks with a high growth potential may be worth considering. BetaShares offers a range of equity ETFs with access to Australian shares, US global giants, and technology thematics like cybersecurity and artificial intelligence. The retirement phase marks the period when investors begin accessing their nest egg through pensions, lump sums, or a combination of both. During this stage, the emphasis typically shifts towards capital preservation and stable income. Fixed income assets like cash, bonds, and hybrid securities can be used in this phase. Additional equity strategies can be considered, such as those with appropriate yield maximizer overlays in place. For investors in search of a low risk profile, yet aiming for returns higher than those offered by cash, the following funds may prove suitable. Crafting a comprehensive investment plan that addresses members' needs, risk tolerance, and long-term goals is not only a legal obligation, but also a vital step towards achieving a financially secure retirement. Remember to periodically review your strategy to ensure it remains aligned with members' needs. Seeking professional advice can help provide expertise to ensure compliance and informed decision-making. If you want our full guide on using ETFs in an SMSF, check out the article here. Thanks for watching.